Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins, and today I'm going to talk about the impact, the negative impact of having low testosterone as far as how it relates to premature aging, premature death, health problems, you know, physically and emotionally. And uh, I, I, I mentioned this because I was at dinner, you know, a few weeks ago, and um, some guy was telling me, hey, you know, what's all, you know, everyone keeps talking about increasing testosterone levels and all this stuff and testosterone, testosterone, but you know, maybe... Maybe we're supposed to have low testosterone as we age, and it's all part of the aging process. And when you start meddling with it, it's going to lead to other problems. You know, I my doctor said, you know, having higher testosterone level is going to cause prostate cancer and is going to cause heart problems and high blood pressure and all these things. So, you know, what's up with all this? What's the deal? And I and I said, oh, you know, so I thought I'd do a video about this because it's wrong. You know, first of all, in the old days, they used to think testosterone caused prostate cancer, and now they're realizing it's a metabolite of testosterone that causes cancer. In fact, having low testosterone can cause more prostate problems. Low testosterone is linked to a lot of problems. So today I'm gonna to go over just some quick clinical studies. I'm gonna just read it off some of my notes. I basically read a bunch of studies, and I'm gonna just summarize it for you to save you time. And so you can get right to the point. Now, first of all, there's a study is called the, the Massachusetts Male Aging Study. And basically, um, it showed that men with low testosterone have significantly higher risk of mortality. That means death. And the study found that men with the lowest, um, pr low, lowest level of testosterone had a 40% higher risk of mortality than the average person who had regular hormone testosterone levels. And this was... Um, follow-up period for 18 years. So that's one study. Um, another study found that men with low testosterone had an 88% increase in mortality risk over the follow-up, and this was eight years, you know, follow-up compared to men with uh, normal testosterone level. And I put all the studies, the references below this. Um, the findings in another one, um, European male age study showed that men with coronary heart disease and low testosterone levels had 25% higher mortality, that means death rate, over the medium follow-up, which is about 6.97, almost seven years, compared to those with normal testosterone levels. Again, that's 25% higher mortality rate. And another study is a Pittsburgh um, epidemiology um, diabetes complication study basically found that the study reported that men with low testosterone had a 60% higher risk of eczemic stroke and an increase in overall mortality rate. So that's a bad one. And specifically that low testosterone was associated with 35% higher risk of death from all causes and overage for an, an, an average of follow-up period for seven years. It's another negative. The Framington Heart study also showed that in this study, men with lower testosterone levels had higher mortality rate. Um, and study was, was clearly linked that low testosterone and there was an increase in death. And basically 25 to 88% higher mortality uh, rate death due to premature aging, no, cause of premature aging due to lower testosterone levels. And this, this, in all these studies, it was followed, it was from 6.9 years up to 18 years. So that's a good time span. And again, it's linked to higher cardiovascular diseases, um, ischemic strokes, and just overall increase in mortality rate. So those are the findings, you know, the clinical studies. I'm going to go tell you the, the five main points on how low testosterone is bad for your body. Um, first of all, there's the accelerated aging and premature death. Men with low testosterone levels um, actually have faster uh, experience, faster biological aging. So that means they're going to age faster. Um, studies have shown the correlation between low testosterone and increased mortality rates, which I mentioned, and lower testosterone levels can lead to decreased muscle mass, um, lower body fat, an increase in body fat in the stomach, um, adipose tissue and all that, and reduced bone density. All these things uh, you know, are part of accelerated aging. And, and I consider aging a form of disease. Let's talk about the cardiovascular health. Low testosterone associated with higher cardiovascular diseases. Men with hypogonadism, hypogonadism meaning suboptimal low levels of testosterone, um, have higher incidence of atherosclerosis and heart attacks. I mean, just um, more plaque in the arteries. And clinical studies also suggest that increasing testosterone levels into the normal range naturally can improve heart health with men with lower testosterone levels. So that's for the cardiovascular health. Let's talk about metabol metabolic syndrome and diabetes. Men with low uh, testosterone levels are linked to metabolic syndrome and a cluster of conditions that increase 
your risk for heart disease, uh, strokes, and diabetes. Diabetes is a huge problem linked to many other problems, including high blood pressure. Um, hypogonadoman, again, hypo meaning low suboptimal testosterone, um, are more likely to develop, develop insulin resistance, which can lead to type 2 diabetes. And uh, people who have increased their testosterone levels, increase insulin sensitivity and reduce the risk of diabetes compared to men with low testosterone. So that's the diabetic problem. Let's talk about mental health and cognitive function. This is a big one. Uh, testosterone plays obviously a key role in uh, mood regulation and cognitive function. Also, uh, testosterone improves dopamine production. And again, that, that's another big positive and for drive and just longevity and helping reduce things like Parkinson's. Uh, men with low testosterone levels are more prone to depression, and anxiety, and cognitive decline and memory loss. Um, improving testosterone levels and can enhance mood and cognitive abilities, which again is another positive. It, it, you know, testosterone increases your drive altogether. This is an important factor. That's like one difference when you're young, you're more driven. And part of that is the dopamine. And testosterone also makes, uh, it makes it feel good to achieve. That's the main thing. You get like ding, ding, ding. Whenever you achieve something, it feels good versus not wanting to do anything, becoming apathetic. And let's talk about finally sexual health, which guys already know testosterone is essential for maintaining libido and sexual function and erectile function. Um, low testosterone obviously leads to reduced sexual desire, erectile dysfunction, infertility. Um, improving testosterone levels obviously improves the quality of men um, compared to especially hypogonadism. Keeping in mind when your testosterone is higher, your sexual health is better and the relationship with your mate is going to be better. And additionally, it states that when you also have higher testosterone, higher sexual desire, your self-esteem and your confidence and your drive is better. And that obviously will improve the relationship when your self-esteem is higher, just improves everything in life. So low testosterone is bad. Normal to higher testosterone levels naturally is good. All right. There's a lot of benefits to having optimal testosterone levels at any age. All right. So what does this mean? I put links below this video on how to optimize your testosterone levels. Naturally, I put videos additionally about how to boost your testosterone levels naturally. So take a look. Let me know your questions and comments below. And please, please, please take action. Don't just listen like some other people. Take action. Be the small percentage to take action and actually implement all these little tactics that I mentioned, all my videos. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so because I talk about this stuff all the time, how to make it easier and faster for you to achieve your health, fitness, and longevity goals. One of them being optimal testosterone balance. Thanks for watching. Wishing you a happy and healthy day.